What's up everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking all about the La Sportiva Caracol. Uh, this is my first shoe from La Sportiva and I was pleasantly surprised. This is definitely going to be firmly in the mountain trail running shoe category and it felt eerily similar to another one of my favorites that fall in this category. I'll talk about that in a little bit. First off, I do need to let you know that I paid for this shoe with my own money. In fact, I've had this shoe for a couple months. I actually bought it last fall and it was the first shoe that I've ever received that came plastic wrapped which was kind of interesting. Uh, but this is also a shoe that's kind of like hard to find in the US. Like it kind of comes in and out of stock in a bunch of different places. So you might have to be a little creative if you live in the US and maybe shop around a little bit. But first off, let's talk about some specs of the shoe. The stack height in the heel, we have 29 millimeters and in the four foot 22, giving you a drop of seven millimeters. Kind of in the mid range category, I would say. It's definitely not high stack. The advertised weight for a size nine is 270 grams. Uh, but when I weighed it, my size 11.5, it was 11.54 ounces at 327 grams. So let's talk about the Upper for a minute. Um, the heel, the on top of your foot, and the forefoot, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Wild Horse 7 on my first run. Uh, it just wraps around your foot really snugly. Uh, you can get a good lockdown without feeling any pinching or hot spots anywhere. There's a little bit of flexibility in the heel counter. The sidewalls are a little bit flexible as well, uh, but you do have plenty of protection all around, enough padding to really get you through some long runs, in my opinion. I mean, obviously we're gonna keep testing this. We have a lot of overlays across the whole entire shoe pretty much. Uh, and so while that's gonna give you a lot of protection from splashing around in some water or other sticks, rocks, stones, stuff like that, uh, it's also gonna protect you from maybe uh, tearing out the sides uh, if you tend to do that. <laughs> um, but it's also going to probably, in my guess, run a little bit warm in the summertime. Uh, for me today, my run, it was incredibly cold <laughs> and uh, there was snow everywhere. So it did provide really good protection from getting wet, but I could see that I was getting a lot of moisture buildup inside from uh, just getting warm even on a super cold day like this. So it's a mountain running shoe, probably going to be really great in kind of cooler environments. Not really sure yet how it's going to feel in hot environments, say like western states or something like that. I don't know if this would be maybe your first pick, but for maybe a high mountain alpine race where you're going to encounter a little bit of snow or some rain, maybe some puddles here and there, uh, maybe it's going to get cold at night, this shoe would probably work really well. For the fit, the heel, nice and snug, midfoot, got a good lockdown, uh, but the forefoot was getting a little bit slim. I didn't have any problems on my first run along the sides where I did notice it getting pretty tight was in the kind of like the very front end. So it seems like maybe La Sportiva runs a little small. And the first maybe caution that I wanted to throw out there with this shoe was the arch. Uh, for me, my first run, I didn't feel like it was very supportive. I felt like it was a pretty minimal arch. Uh, now that can be fixed with throwing in uh, a different uh, liner in here, a different insert. So nothing really too terribly concerning, but just something to keep in mind. If that is something that you need from a pair of shoes is a high arch support, uh, just maybe pay attention to that when you're trying this shoe on or going for your first run in it. Moving on to the tongue of this shoe. This is a very unique tongue for me. Uh, it's the widest I've ever tested and maybe the most substantial I've ever tested. It also has two loopholes for the laces, uh, so you can really get a pretty good uh, secure feeling in there, like the tongue isn't gonna be moving around a whole lot. There's a lot of padding throughout the entire top of the tongue. It goes really far down on each side, but I didn't notice that as being a negative thing. Like it honestly just felt really good. Uh, it felt like I had a big, huge kind of like blanket on top of my foot. It is semi-gusseted with a little bit of fabric on each each side, uh, but not completely. And so there is a little bit of opportunity for maybe uh, dust, little tiny rocks or dirt to get in there through the tongue through here. So that's it for the upper of the shoe. Like I said, a little bit snug, a little bit tight in the toes, kind of like that Euro feel, a little bit like Solomon's, honestly. Uh, and then uh, the arch support, just keep that in mind. Uh, heel felt really nice, robust. Uh, just felt like it's just ready to tackle some big mountain trails. Moving on to the midsole, there are two different types of foam in here. You can see the lighter color and the darker color, plus a rock plate inside. Uh, I just felt like the energy transfer of the shoe felt really nice. Didn't have any issues with rocks, roots, anything like that causing pain underfoot. So I do think the rock plate is helping. Just kind of like stay out of my mind, do your job, like keep me comfortable, get me through this trail and that's what it did. Moving on to the outsole, I really liked this outsole a lot. Uh, as you can see, there are sharp edges everywhere. Not sharp, but 
like as sharp as rubber can be. Uh, so it did a really good job gripping out there on the trails and the snow. Anytime I did experience anything that was a little bit slushy or muddy, uh, it just did great. These are advertised as three millimeter lugs and I didn't get a ruler out and measure them, but that looks right. Uh, one thing to note though, is that the heel of this outsole is a little bit smaller than some other heels on big trail running shoes. Um, honestly, it didn't affect me because I kind of like that feeling of it feels a little bit more nimble out there on the trails. I don't feel like I'm getting it kind of like stuck like when I'm going downhill. Every once in a while, those really big uh, profile outsoles will get kind of like caught on a root or a rock or something. This just feels really nimble, able to move quick through trails. Uh, just something to keep in mind if you're looking at this shoe. The profile is a little bit more narrow in the forefoot as well. Felt like I was where I was stepping was where I wanted to be stepping. Felt like I had really good control out there on the trails. So overall, my reaction to my first run in this shoe, the La Sportiva Caracol was positive. Uh, there are a couple things that I am going to keep an eye on, mainly that arch support and then the very front end. Uh, I don't know if in my longer runs, like once I do like a 20 miler in this shoe, how's that going to feel? Also, I want to keep in mind how this is going to feel in warmer weather uh, because that is something that could be a concern. And the last thing I'm going to be looking at is how does this shoe drain because that's going to be really important once we start getting warmer into the spring and summer. Uh, right now it's only four degrees out there so everything is frozen and over, it doesn't matter. Uh, but once I start going through puddles, uh, water crossings, anything like that, with all of these overlays, how is this shoe gonna drain? With all the padding, is it gonna hold a lot of water and get really heavy? Again, this shoe kind of giving me some distant memories of the Nike Wild Horse 7, uh, and that's a good thing. Like that shoe was, I was really, pretty hot on that shoe. Like it got me through a lot of training miles and the Cruel Jewel 100. Uh, so for a mountain running shoe, I'm pretty excited about this La Sportiva Caracol right here. Uh, if you've run in this shoe, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about it and also let me know if I should try more La Sportiva shoes. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.